Okay, we're on the final steps. Um, at this point we've gone ahead and finished the guitar. And a lot of times, you know, we, we encourage the student to uh, to string up their guitar in the white, so to speak, just meaning without finish, and leave it for a period of time. Um, and really the best thing you can do is just play it. And at that point, you're probably going to see some curvature in the neck come up. So when that happens, uh, before you put the truss rod cover on, start to make those adjustments. Um, initially you may take a full turn just to kind of get it to settle, uh, but once that curvature starts to come back and everything lays nice and flat, uh, or just slight curves, then you know an eighth of a turn or a quarter of a turn on that truss rod will get you right where you need to be. Again, use your straight edge to really take a look to see what's happening with frets. Does the straight edge rock? And in this case, this particular fingerboard is dead on flat. I can't get it to rock really anywhere. Um, and with the frets on, uh, we're a little bit lower than where I'd like to see this on the bridge, which means I had to take the saddle down a little bit more. I would actually like to see this neck tipping back a little bit more. Um, but it's you know, it plays real nice, it sounds real nice. So, uh, if you end up with a high fret, in other words, when you put the straight edge on, there's a rock, and you can identify one or two frets, then using a double cut file, just in that one area, you can go back and forth, obviously with no strings on, and level that particular area of frets if you have a you know two or three frets even um, but remember every time you use this you're taking the natural crown that's in the fret off and making it completely flat so once you finish with the double cut you need to then move over to the crowning file and the crowning file on the end has a curvature that matches the crown that's on the top of the fret and at that point that crown needs to be reestablished and you'll go back and forth until you create that new crown once the crown is made um, you can use some of the um, the micro mesh pads that we used before to reshine that fret you may want to actually put a little bit of tape on the fingerboard and then go ahead and um, polish those frets you may end up with a small burr, and if you can come up with a safe edge file uh, just to take that burr off, sometimes even just using the micro mesh pads, um, you can remove that burr. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you is that on the bridge, once the, the bridge is glued down, in order to get that bridge pin, which is a tapered pin, to fit and fit all the way down, you may drop that tapered reamer in and make sure you're not influencing it one side or the other. Make sure it's nice and straight and just a few quick turns. This one's pretty much ready to go. We want to get that string put in and kind of a misconception is that ball sits at the very end of, of that bridge pin and that's not the case. You actually want to put that ball in and have it ride up as far as it can on that tapered reamer. It's sitting at the very end. When you go to tighten that, that ball could slip and come up and then you'll lose your tuning halfway through a song, so that's that's not so good. So put that ball in and then reach your hand through and really hike up on that so that that ball comes up a little bit higher and then try and get that bridge pin or each of the bridge pins to sit at roughly the same height. So in this case, let me just see where this is at. Okay, that ball is right up toward the top. Now, there's a couple of different places to adjust the string action or the height from the, the string to the frets. And those two places are at the saddle and at the nut. Initially you want to try and get that saddle 
to where it's going to give you your best action and then do some moderate changes down here with the uh, the nut files and again each one of these sides has a different um, groove that it will cut so make sure you pick the file that's most appropriate to the string if you do make a groove in that nut it's not a straight it's really an angle back so that the very front of the nut is where that string is sitting so this guitar has already been set up I've already gone through these setups so at this point I'm just going to pop this string back on string winders are real nice to string up your guitar real quick So at this point we're doing a final tuning and take one of these little picks off of what's, a, what's called a pick card. It actually has four cards. It fits just to like a business card in your wallet. Great little picks in a pinch. And you'll see I have a little tuner. It's a clip-on type tuner. Picks up the vibration as well as the microphone that's built in. It's kind of nice, it actually the screen turns from green to red once you get in tune. This was a fun project. Hopefully your guitar turns out real nice. When you get it finished, send us a picture.